I went to Home Depot to buy the uh, concrete mix. Now this concrete mix, it has gravel mixed with cement and sand all together in one. Other people, they don't know, they buy the bath separately. They buy the cement, they buy the concrete, and they buy the gravel and they mix it together. Instead of doing all that, you just buy one bath. It should say concrete mix, high strength, and you can buy this at Home Depot. So we bought um, about uh, five of these and then 11 of these right here. I think 11, two, four, six, eight, 10, 10 of these. Now these are to make the one that I showed you earlier to make the paper. But yeah, you can buy this at um, Home Depot. And you can have someone help you put it loaded up or you can just get a truck, a family truck and load all these up and do it yourself. And you can do this either go buy yourself or you can do online. So high, so I'm gonna put some uh, dirt to make it even. Because when you pour cement, it's gonna go through this wood, so you wanna cover it and you wanna make it even. Okay? So, covering all that, put some wood. Like I said, you need this small uh, shovel to do this. You call it a shovel, you can put whatever, but this is to cover it. Okay? And remove it. Anything that blocks in the way of making your paint. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to start putting, kneeling down the rocks, hit it with the hammer. Just go all the way down to make sure it gets tight. And you can put one here, and you can put one at the end. Just hit it hard, make sure it goes all the way. Same thing. Here's, if there is some like holy bottom, just cover it with uh, dirt. Okay, cover it with dirt. Just make it even. Make it even together. Okay, now same thing. I'm gonna use the metal rod and then do it here. Hit it hard. one. Because you have two wood, you got to put one right here. And then see how it comes out? And then make sure you line it up. Okay, make sure it's aligned with the other wood. And use it here. Let me see it myself. Just be careful when you do it. And another rod at the end. So you always want to do the front and the back to hold the pieces together. Just make sure when you hit it, don't hit your fingers. Put your finger away at the bottom. Don't put too close. Okay. There you go. So in order to make a cement, you need a wheelbarrow. You don't need a cement mixer. You just need that. And when you mix it, make sure it's not too thick or too watery. If it's too thick, it's going to become like a rock. And if it's too watery, it's not going to be strong. So you want it to be just the right size or the right mixture. Okay. So, so this is a handmade. We don't have a cement mixer. Okay. So, when I, would you mind mixing the cake, please? Okay, so we have two people mixing this cement. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, this is the cake. Okay. Now, if you were to hire someone to do this, oh my god, it costs a lot of money. So, this is handmade cement mixer. It's old-fashioned, but you know what? 
it comes out the same result as the cement mixer, as long as you know how to mix it right. So like I said, you don't want it too watery or too thick. You want it just to be the right size. Because when you pour and the cement becomes dry, it will be strong. Okay. It's a good exercise. Just like this. And you need the curving. This is to um, uh, make the edges smooth, the end part. Okay? But that's at the end when the cement are done. This is when I smooth at the end. So I don't think this is. When you're done pouring the cement, you want to smooth the edges, the whole thing out, the surface. Oh. Smooth it out and even bend it out. dry so I'm going to start doing the edges.
it's all dry, you take it out. finished product. And let's go See, we did this ourselves. It's handmade. Or you could call it man-made, woman-made. Even in high construction work.